All right. So, for anybody who has an office or desk job, um, like me, days can be very long and stressful and exhausting without being very physically demanding. And today has definitely been one of those days. A lot of meetings, a lot of stuff going on that you really have no control over, but people expect you to have answers for. And a lot of email. And uh, then you get a chance to do something, work with your hands a little bit. It's very cathartic. It's very relaxing, kind of gets you back into a good place. Um, so this is my kangaroo mini PC. And as part of it, the dock can hold a laptop hard drive. And this just came in the mail. I ordered one but it got lost in shipping and so they had to send me a replacement. It's taken me a while to get it. Uh, they were supposed to show up at the same time and they didn't. Um, I have my little tool set out. Tool set I bought at Walmart a few years ago. Uh, it's very nice. It's got a very complete set. There's some things I like about it. Here's a screwdriver. If you have a set of common screws you can fill out one of these uh, little rings that hold the little tools and it can fit inside of this. This is also a great place to store your screws if you're, you know, if you have to take something apart, put it back together a little bit later, you can store the screws in there, you won't lose them. Um, and of course, it has an interchangeable bit. I'm not going to link to that or anything. It's just it's one of those tools that uh, you know I've had for a couple of years now, a few years now, and I'm I'm really, really glad I have it because it comes in very handy. Um, there's two screws here at the top. Just a couple Phillips heads. Let's see. I'm trying to get this on camera, but I need to look at it. Okay. Don't think these are self-retaining, which would be really nice. Let's see. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's see if they come out. Well, it might be self-retaining, or I didn't unscrew them all the way. Let's see if I can get this to do a few more turns. Well, no, they're not self-retaining. I just hadn't unscrewed it enough. to the side. Sorry for the low resolution on this. If I record anything more than a few minutes, I have to put on low resolution because the camera I bought was a poor choice on my part. And it doesn't record longer sessions unless you have it on the lowest resolution, which I apologize is what you have to deal with here. Fortunately, I have a new camera on the way. It's supposed to record in 1080. Um, We'll see. We'll see how that uh, goes. Speaking of email, this I believe just has some clips along the side. Don't want to. There we go. Now this is the first time I've opened this. Oh, that was really stiff. There we go. Okay, there's four more screws there. Also, just a simple Phillips. Just for my clumsiness, I'm doing this around the camera. And while I've done a number of videos, having to do something around a camera is not really something I've yet gotten used to. Now as I go through this, if you watched a video I uploaded earlier, um, I've been playing with that uh, video capture device. Um, and it does a really nice job. It uh, records nice quality video and uh, looks good and the file size isn't massive either. And it looks like all the screws are the same size, which is nice. Um, I don't have to worry about mixing them up and stripping out a screw hole. 
more. It would be nice if they're self-retaining or if there was a, a simple clip to clip it into place. Like on my Z book here that I'm working on top of, it just has a uh, it's a toolless design, and I know that sort of stuff costs more money. Screws are cheap, um, but the engineering to create a toolless design is money that they have to put into the product. So there's the hard drive caddy that comes out now. That's interesting. To screw the hard drive into, they provide you with the four screws, and they screw into the back of this. So let's get the hard drive out. Here is the hard drive. This is a two terabyte Seagate Mobile HDD. Now typically I'm a huge fan of uh, hybrid drives, however uh, for this application hybrid drive is, is overkill um, and not necessary. So undo the four screws that are back here. And two terabytes was the largest laptop hard drive I could find at least on Amazon. I don't know if there's bigger ones than I just they weren't available. Um, we have a lot of media, but the goal of this is uh, right now I'm, I'm pulling everything off of two different uh, external hard drives. But I don't like doing that because um, I need I need those for other things, um, as well as uh, one of them is a USB two. Well, the the dock only has one USB three port on it, so the USB two is a bit slow. Not too bad, but you know, mostly notice it when you go to pause something and then go to play it again. This goes in here like so. listening to the background. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. Hopefully uh, it doesn't. Last thing I need is a takedown because of muffled background noises. These screws are going to be a little bit harder just because I have fat fingers. And if I do this, I can often. Oh, almost. These are slightly magnetized. Very lightly. I don't remember if they came that way, but if you take the bits of a screwdriver and if they're not magnetized, a lot of times, if you just set them on a slightly powerful magnet for a little while, they will actually gain some magnetism. Now, not a lot, like here. I cannot pick up the screw, but you see how it just holds on just a little bit? A lot of times, that's all you need to just hold the screw in place. I don't know if the gut's coming up on the camera, but I'm just barely picking it up. So I don't think these came magnetized. I think I purposely left them on top of a strong magnet um, so that the bits would have some slight magnetism to them. Um, not anything that would damage the hard drive itself. Just enough to where I can manipulate the screw.
Sorry for the poor lighting. I'm in my office and I don't have very good light in my office. Probably one of those things where you do it yourself and you make a mistake. It's not that big a deal, but if you watch somebody else do it and they make a mistake, um, that's a little crazy. It's kind of like uh, you know, if you're watching somebody do a puzzle and uh, you see the solution before they do, and you're pulling your hair out, watching them uh, do the work, trying to solve a puzzle. For any gamers out there, um, Portal 2 is a lot like that. I I love Portal 2. I've, I've played it uh, from beginning to end multiple times. Um, I always thought my wife would enjoy it because um, she'd enjoy the snarky humor in it. So I sat her down to... She's not a gamer. She, she actually doesn't... I mean, she, she'll play some things with me, but... Um, she's, but I sat her down to... Uh, play Portal 2 so she can enjoy the comedy because it's very funny um, and uh, even in the first puzzle she was struggling a little bit just because again she's not a gamer she doesn't really have that mentality you know just trying to learn the controls again for her um, and so you're sitting there watching her and you're just like oh I'm going to pull my hair out I'm going to go bald early watching you uh, try to solve, solve these initial puzzles um, of course you can't say anything because you don't want them to get frustrated or feel bad but anyways so there you have it that was start to finish in installation of a second hard drive on a mobile should be on a kangaroo mobile desktop pro uh, dock i'm gonna go ahead and we take the kangaroo and we plug it back in Let's go go back up on the shelf and start copying over what about a terabyte and a half worth of uh, storage on there. So I've got quite a bit to uh, to copy over. Thank you for watching.